welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys basically how i got this makeup look um this is my simple everyday work makeup and i wanted to get ready with you guys this morning so that's what we did i do want to give a quick disclaimer you probably think i look crazy because the sun is beaming through the side so it's making this side of my face look much lighter than this side of my face so i can tell like my eyebrow this eyebrow looks super dark this one looks a little bit lighter but in person, it looks the same. It's just the lighting is a little bit messed up in the morning time, so please forgive me. But um, yeah, this is basically the makeup look that we came up with. Very simple, everyday makeup look, and I also showed you guys my outfit details for work today. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give this a video a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can stay tuned with every other video that I post on this channel. I post pretty frequently, so you don't want to miss it. So just subscribe, and if you want to know how we achieve this look, the products I use and my everyday makeup, just keep on watching. All right guys, so I'm basically just gonna show you guys what I do to get ready for work. It's currently 8 a.m. and I decided, I'm just gonna film myself getting ready for work because yeah, I just wanna show you my everyday makeup and what I've been using lately. So we're gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my lips and I'm using the Nivea Smoothness Lip Care. This is just my favorite. I already have my brows done because my brows take probably the most time to do and i didn't want to spend too much time doing my brows and i recently am using a new brow product so i'm still testing it out so i didn't want to use that on camera so we're gonna go ahead and go on with the skin i already cleaned my skin i already cleansed my skin i moisturized my skin and everything but lately my skin has been super dry like super super dry i think that this weather has just really worn my skin out so i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin a little bit more I like to go in with this e.l.f. Uh, Dewy Setting Mist, and this is in the coconut scent. I love spraying this all over my face before going in with foundation. I'm with my coffee because it's going to get sprayed. So I just like spraying that on and then kind of tapping it into my skin with the blender. I usually like making my coffee before I get ready so that I can drink it while I get ready. Okay, so once I feel like my skin is nice and moisturized, now I'm gonna go in with my base. And my base is a little bit complicated right now, but I feel like it's something that works for me because I don't have a foundation right now that's my actual color. So what I do is I use my concealer, my Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Almond. And I use this basically on the center of my face, and then I go in with this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in the shade Buff, and then I put this on the outer parts of my face. And I feel like this is just what's been working for me lately because um, I don't have my correct like shade. So I feel like the combination of these has just really just gotten me what I need. I do find that this foundation kind of like finds dry patches on my skin and clings onto them, but um, I try my best to just set it as much as I can to avoid that. So honestly, work makeup is super tricky because you don't want to wear obviously like heavy caked up makeup to work, but you also want to look presentable. I find that when I don't wear makeup to work, I just don't feel my best and I'm super self-conscious just because like, I don't know, I just feel like I work better when I feel better, you know? So I usually like doing this very minimal makeup just to kind of give me a fresh look. As you can see, like it's probably looks super light and way too light, but it matches the rest of my body. So that's why I feel like this combination really works for me. I think my camera stopped filming, but basically I just went ahead and put some concealer on, which is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I went ahead and set my concealer with Bella Mercier Loose Setting Powder. So that's where I am right now, just setting my under eyes. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face. This is literally, guys, my everyday, everyday makeup. So now that my face is all set, I like to go in with my Sephora Micro Smoothing Powder. And this powder is literally the best. I think you guys have heard me rave about it before. But basically, I love using it to set my face because it doesn't just set my face, it also smooths my face. Literally, like any imperfections, any um, textured skin is literally disappeared when I put this on my face. I don't think this is the greatest setting powder in terms of really setting your makeup, but I know this powder is the best powder to really smooth your skin out. So it all depends on what you're looking for. What I like to do is I also like to use my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder to set other areas of my face that I feel like really need setting. I really like to set my chin area here because literally this is like the first thing to go in a long day. I don't know why. I set my smile lines and then my forehead because I feel like 
all of this is just like needs that extra step. Now I'm just gonna dust it all away. Hey, I'm feeling pretty set. I'm feeling pretty solid, ready for the day. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with highlight and guys literally this foundation this routine is super easy. You have no idea. It's like I barely do it. But this is it. This is the real every day. I don't do nothing crazy because nobody has time for crazy. Now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amorezi collection or highlight combo, whatever. And this is one of one of my favorite highlights in the world. Um, it's the highlight that I use for my wedding day, so I just love it. I'm just going to spray some MAC Prep and Prime on it just to give it a little bit more, you know, you know, you know how it is. My chin area. It just honestly adds such a subtle glow. So once that glow is put all over the face, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put very, very little color or I guess contour on my face. The reason why I do the steps backwards and do the highlight first is because I feel like when I do my highlight, it gives me a good guideline as to where to put my bronzer. So I'm going in with my Hula Benefit bronzer. The little one. And I'm using this Morphe M530 brush. This brush is the best for contour. Literally, all I do is just add very light, very light bronzer, like super light. And I like to do a little bit on the forehead, maybe a little bit on the nose. Okay, next is blush. And the blush that I generally use every day is the Sigma Nymphaea shade. It's like this shade right here. It's like super pink, it's like a Barbie pink. But I grab very little, very, very little of it. I barely even tap it. I just literally just, just very lightly. And all I want this for is for color. That's why I use a super Barbie pink one. And then I just put it all on the side of my face. Just to give my skin some color. Like as you can, you can barely tell I put anything on. And that's just how I like it. <coughs> oh my goodness. Every time I use loose powder. Hmm. Easy. Now I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and it's the gold packaging. I do not obviously put false lashes for my everyday work makeup because I would look crazy stepping into my cubicle with some lashes on. So all I do is just mascara. And honestly some days I skip out on this step depending on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I like the natural look of not having mascara on because I just feel like I don't know, it's literally natural glam. And then I'm also putting some on the lower lashes. So for the lips, I keep it super simple. I go in with my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Venus. I put a very small amount on this of this on my lips. I feel like this is the perfect neutral. And then I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in with lip gloss. And the lip gloss that I use is this NYX lip gloss, and this is in the shade Fortune Cookie. It's one of my favorite lip glosses. So I just put that all over. And voila, my whole entire makeup is done. I probably did this under like 20 minutes, so this is about right in terms of my everyday look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my outfit looks like for today's workday. Okay, so that's basically it for this makeup look and this outfit for work this morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any other video suggestions that you have down below. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.